The Vatican will announce the canonization of six candidates, including the Blessed Mary McKillop of Australia and Blessed Brother Andre of Canada. The road to sainthood has been particularly long for Blessed Mary McKillop, who will be Australia's first saint. It has been a long journey. The uh, cause was introduced 85 years ago, so it's been a long, long journey, and it was interrupted in the 1930s until 1951. And so from 1951 till the present day, it's been another almost 60 years. So it's the culmination of a lot of work from a lot of people. Last year, theologians and doctors agreed that a woman with untreatable cancer was cured through the intercession of Mary McKillop. She is particularly good with women who cannot have children. And we have hundreds of what they call Mary McKillop babies. Now, whether Mary is responsible for them getting pregnant, she might have a little part in it, but we know human nature is a big part in it, but yes. Blessed MacKillop is revered by Australians as a national figure. Born to Scottish immigrants in 1842, she spent her life working to help Australia's sick and elderly communities and provided education to poor children. Like MacKillop, Blessed Brother Andre of Canada also spent much of his life helping the sick and needy. He was a Holy Cross brother and invited the sick to pray to St. Joseph. He was known for rubbing sick people with oil from a lamp in the college chapel. Soon after, people reported their prayers were answered. He would visit the sick and traveled as far as the United States. Many called him a miracle worker, but he denied that he had that gift. Blessed Andre and Blessed MacKillop are seen as two models for living in the 21st century. I believe the Pope wants people to understand that they are having models of Christian living and Mary MacKillop and the other candidates for canonisation will be models for the rest of us of how we could live our Christian life and become holy people. Two holy people who will now have a spot saved on the altar.